It's no secret that travelers want more choices, better value, and great experience. Our next innovation helps suppliers make this happen by enabling them to target the right customer with the right offer at the right time. Here's Shelly Terry from Sabre Travel Network to tell us about custom offers. Good afternoon. I'm very excited to be able to present to you today one of our newest innovations, custom offers. Merchandising, personalization, dynamic offers. Well, you guys have been hearing about it all day today. And there's a good reason why. Travel suppliers are banking on their merchandising strategies to drive revenue and profitability and to provide a customized travel experience to travelers. The future of shopping and buying travel is changing, and the future is now. Now, there's a lot of merchandising going on out there in the marketplace today, but most of it is happening in suppliers' direct channels. Sabre has developed a solution that enables the same type of merchandising in a single global sales channel. $100 billion worth of travel is bought and sold every year through the Sabre Travel Marketplace. And that number compares to other very popular marketplaces out there. As suppliers look to further optimize their merchandising strategies, imagine if they could put these products, dynamic, customized offers, into a new global sales channel that reaches a global marketplace of buyers. That is exactly what Sabre Custom Offers is all about. A custom offer starts with data, big data. Billions of records of shopping and booking activity through the Sabre system. Now, working with our launch partner, Sabre, uh, Starwood Hotels and Resorts, we began digging into this data, looking for merchandising opportunities. Now, first we looked at global shopping and booking activity for all of Starwood's chains and properties around the world, looking for those insights. Now, eventually, Starwood narrowed in on the Asia-Pacific region, specifically Australia. Now, using big data visualization tools such as Biz Squared and Tableau, we're able to create heat maps such as the one that you see here. Now, zeroing in on Australia, what you can see here is that the warmer colors represent a higher volume of shopping or booking, and the cooler colors represent a lower volume. Now, by comparing shopping heat maps to booking heat maps, we can actually find conversion opportunities. Now, what we did next is we further segmented the data based on trip type, such as weekend getaway or an overnight business trip. And what we found was that there was really good shopping data uh, or really good shopping demand in Sydney, but there was actually lower conversions for specific types of trip segments for a particular property, the Sheraton on the Park. Now, once Starwood determined how they wanted to target this opportunity, they were able to enter in all of the campaign criteria into our campaign manager tool. And as you can see here, Starwood was able to control all of the settings, the rules, the conditions, and the weightings of those. In addition, Starwood is able to control all of the marketing text that would accompany the custom offers when they are displayed. And then throughout the life of the campaign, Starwood has access to real-time data and analytics so they can track and fine-tune the campaign. The entire process is designed to provide maximum flexibility to Starwood so that they can get the right product in front of the right customer at the right time. So now let's take a look at how Custom Offers works. In this scenario, Mr. John Gary contacts his travel agent to add a hotel reservation to his upcoming trip to Sydney. The travel agent retrieves his reservation, which includes information from his traveler profile including his airline and hotel loyalty numbers. 
Now, the agent shops for hotels in Sydney, and included in the response is a custom offer for Sheraton on the Park, providing a 25% discount off the hotel stay. The agent shares this offer with Mr. Gary, engendering more loyalty to not only the hotelier, but the travel agency. Now, all information is integrated easily at the agency's fingertips. She can hover over the highlighted text and see an expanded view of the offer. She can uh, look at the expanded data about uh, all of the rates. Um, custom offers are in addition to all of the publicly available and negotiated rates that you would find through Sabre today. Also integrated is rich media, such as graphics and videos, that allow travel suppliers to be able to better promote their brand and their product attributes. Now, in the case of hotel custom offers, they can, pr they can uh, offer a wide variety of products and services, such as discounted rates, uh, special room products, and other premium services. Now, custom offers is available not only for hoteliers, but for airlines, cruise lines, and car companies. And as suppliers continue to evolve their products and services beyond basic rates, uh, and fares to include unbundled and bundled products and changing the way in which they segment the market and provide targeting beyond promotional and discounted rates, now targeting that individual traveler. Consumers have an entire menu of options. It's no more just a flight or a hotel room or a car rental but a customized experience designed to meet their unique needs. It seems as if the options are endless. And it all starts with just one search. But it's not just one search. It's tens of thousands of travel agencies and millions of business and leisure consumers who are shopping for travel worldwide. Sabre processes over 1,000 shops per second. And that number has doubled in the past 12, 12 months. So to deliver customized offers at this kind of scale requires an advanced infrastructure. It starts with a complex business algorithm and heuristics to process trillions of data points, utilizing parallel processing and capacity on demand in order to dynamically calculate customized offers in milliseconds. The business rules engine provides suppliers with controls to be able to establish the rules and the weightings in real time. XML data protocols and APIs create a network of connectivity between Sabre and travel suppliers and buyers. At Sabre, we fully integrated custom offers into all of our XML web services so that custom offers can be extended out to the tens of thousands, beyond the tens of thousands of professionally trained travel agents, and out to the millions of consumers who shop through online travel agencies, corporate booking tools, mobile applications, and many of the new travel innovations that many of you here in the audience have. Uh, so now let's go back to Mr. Gary. I have one more video. You guys are probably going to stop me, aren't you? <laughs> we are going to stop you. I'm sorry. Shelley. Okay. All right. Thank you. Are you going to call it saber words? And what was sa that? Saber words and saber sense. Sounds a lot like um, saber is developing its own version of AdSense and uh, and AdWords, uh, if I'm interpreting it correctly, and it makes perfect sense. I mean, you guys have got more back-end data than anybody else does in terms of being able to use it for suppliers' uh, ability to target up to agents and the consumers they, they service, I guess I would just, um, I wonder what took you so long. <laughs> so you said agents and agents and agents. I, I'm just going to assume that lots of them are corporate agents or, or maybe there are leisure agents. Um, I, I wonder if this could actually support something new in 
supplier management in terms of preferred programs. You know, I think that suppliers have got, well, we hear that there are bags and bags of things that they want to offer travelers to help make that, that change or shift share. And it's often hard for an operation or a TMC or even a, just a corporate client to distribute some of those benefits to travelers to get them to make a better choice. So it's interesting to think that, you know, that maybe there's a new way to do some supplier management in, you know, and we're always going to have preferred fares, we're always going to have preferred rates, we're always going to have that, but you know, what about you know, uh, making a custom offer that includes something to a specific client only to shift share when you, when you put a contract together? So my mind is kind of thinking about how this might be able to support preferred programs um, better. Uh, and I agree, I also think it begs the challenge, which is it's tough to communicate what perks are available or fares yeah. are available today, and so you have this massive communication challenge on, on how to do it. But, you know, it does make sense. Um, I'd like to see Starwood enter an offer that says 25% uh, off if you hang up from your agent right now and call Starwood and book that. Stop um, it. You know, Stop I'm it. just, no, You're I'm just, saying. I'm thinking Nonsense. about the GDS striving for relevance, <laughs> doing a very good job of renting a product, and it's going to be really interesting to see how, how it can evolve. Um, but generally speaking, I think custom offers at scale is a big opportunity, and there's really nobody that can do it, or very few players that can do it. And so it's great to see um, you know, GDS innovate in that way, taking advantage of its resources. Yeah. How, about, how about custom offers that actually bonus the, the agent? Well, right. Yeah, or custom agent exactly. in the middle too. It's not just the consumer, so that's maybe an advantage. That's actually a, a huge advantage, but then you, know, you want to be the customer uh, wondering why they pushed you on the O'Connor Lodge you know, and what's going on there. So. <laughs> <laughs> I stayed there last night. What's wrong with the Econo Lodge? Really, yeah, Evan, nothing. seriously. Nothing, nothing at all. So, uh, so a few things I would say. So first of all, um, data. There's a lot of it. And uh, I appreciate your point about kind of what, what took us so long. I think that, you know, when you're dealing with big data, um, so there's a lot of data out there, and, you know, a lot of companies are storing it in big data appliances, but it's really about mining the data and finding out how you can make the data useful. And so uh, that is really where we're spending a lot of time today and partnering with, uh, with customers to actually look at that data and determine what sort of insights we can, we can find from it. So that would be my comment there. Um, I do think that um, the kind of the sky is the limit from a merchandising perspective because I think that merchandising is a bit in the eye of the beholder. Um, and, and a merchandising strategy by its very nature has to be uh, multifaceted. It has to be designed for different customer segments and different channels uh, that you're selling in. And so clearly, merchandising in a corporate channel is a very unique opportunity. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Shelly Terry, Sabre Travel Network.